What's going on, Kicks fam? We back. It's your boy, Big Maul, back with another review and this time we got something a little early so I thought I'd go ahead on and put this out there just in case if you won your raffle or you would think about copping and you wasn't sure because you didn't know what they were and all of this and how it felt so I was able to get this shoe early I got it a couple days ago actually so this video is you know a little late in my opinion I could have did it early but I just was like super burned out but Thought I'd bring this video to you guys, do a review on this shoe. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and grab the shoe. But before we do that, make sure you guys are subscribed down below to this channel. And make sure you comment, like, everything, right? So we're going to keep growing and keep these getting these views up. Slap the thumbs up button, everything, right? So we're going to do this early review. And let's go ahead and grab the shoe. Let me get this joint. So here we have, as you can see, a Jordan 1 box right right here you can see that so on this it says air jordan one retro high og colors are white black lt smoke gray this is a size 11 it's my size so let's go ahead and take these out now I, i've looked at these so i had to make sure that they were you know what they were supposed to be so go ahead and open the box and go ahead and reveal what's inside right these are the Smoke Gray Air Jordan 1 Retros. So, of course, we only need one shoe to do a review. Of course, I like the trusty lefties. So, if you can tell, I went on and put some yellow laces in those. I'll explain why later. Let's go ahead and get it to the review. So, we have here the Jordan 1 Retro Smoke Grays. And on initial reaction, I'm feeling them. For a couple reasons, and we're going to get into them. But first, so we're going to start, as always, with the bottom, with the sole, right? So we have that classic Jordan 1 retro sole, and it has the Nike. It has, I want to say this is black, but it might be like a, this might be like a dark smoke instead of black. It looks like a dark smoke instead of black to me. Uh, but I could be wrong. My eyes could be playing tricks on me. It could have like this weird it has like this weird like light into it but i'm digging it it's the same you know classic sole with that classic footprint and then on the midsole obviously we have it white right there and moving on up to the upper now the upper is where things in my opinion they get interesting because a lot of people would think that this has nothing going on but if you really look this has like that really smooth suede rough rough suede but it's, it's smooth it's really weird so i think the quality of this is like incredible I'm, I'm extremely surprised by the quality of this because it's it's not like super soft suede where you can move it and get the the different directions right but you can see them which is like the dopest so anyway go ahead get on to uh, Get on to the upper, basically that smoke gray in like this suede type of material. And you have it going on the eyelets as well. You have it on the front and you have it on the toe box here. Now the leather on the toe, I thought it would be like the leather here by the check. And I'm not sure if it's the same leather, but... This leather looks a little, it looks a little tighter, right? It looks a little tighter than, let's see if you can see that. It looks a little tighter on here than I would, I would think it would be. It's not like that crazy tumble leather that you've gotten with the court purples and a couple other ones. What is the royal toes? Like we got with the royal toes, but it's still, I feel like the stitching and the craftsmanship is still A1. Instead of having that tumble leather or even just a leather check, it's a suede check, which you have we haven't seen before on a Jordan kind of like this one, which is I think is I think it's unique. When when they decide to make shoes and they don't do like what's expected. But it still comes out pretty dope. That's what I go for. I, I love that, right? I love the idea 
that someone say, hey, let's do this instead of just doing it all like this because obviously these could remind you of a few a few different sneakers and you know we know that they've done so many different colorways with the Jordan 1 and people are like we're tired of the colorways like bring something else or keep it retro with the colors or whatever but I think that they executed this particular shoe because it's not a retro colorway in a very uh, unique style blending the suede and the leather together and then you have the ankle upper and rounding it out now this is like a really quality material here and the wings logo obviously which is i think is phenomenal but this red leather is i believe is it's pretty soft it's pretty pretty nice and instead of having leather all throughout they went back to like that suede type of feel but this isn't I don't think this way. This is like some. This is like a rough. I don't know what this is, but it's not the same as this uh, rough suede here. This is like something else. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to look up and see what that is. Cause first impression, I know that this and this is not the same. Even though it looks the same, it's definitely. It's definitely different. Anyway, so going on, you have the nylon tongue here. You have the classic tag instead of a leather tag. I'm so extremely happy that they did that. I'm glad that they didn't do a leather tag. I, I'm just tired of the leather tags. And it comes with white shoelaces and black shoelaces. It doesn't come with these yellow shoelaces. And inside there, red uh, Nike Air inside, size 11, has a shoe tree in there. So. so my impression of this shoe is I love it. I, I really do. I, I plan on rocking this one day, maybe not no time in the future. I think the shoe is extremely dope. I'm glad I was able to uh, get my hands on it before it dropped, you know, do a review on it. Now, obviously, this shoe reminds everyone of a couple shoes, just depending on your preference. But I went on and put these yellow laces in there because I want to see how they would look because they remind pretty much everyone, it's unanimous, that it remind people of the unions, the royal, they look pretty similar to these, right? And they remind everyone of those unions. So I was like, well, let me see how that yellow would look. And I wanna say on the unions, the blue, the laces are gold, but I, you know, same concept, I want to see how it would look. And I might even get some gold laces to uh, kinda give it that, unique vibe of of like a union 2.0 or something like that but i think that even without them with the white laces with the black laces with red laces these will go i'm like extremely surprised on how great i or how nice the shoe is and how much i actually like appreciate and i like this shoe like it's a i think this colorway was executed well i have no issues with it at all i think that is unique in itself and it it has it gives me a couple different it gives me the uh turbo green vibes with the way how how it's put together right is it's pretty similar the royal being uh the royal unions being like the number one is because it just it just has that two-tone feel to it which is which is dope as well but I believe that this shoe is going to be a sleeper. I, I really feel like it will be. Um, people are going to sleep on it. And then a couple months later, it's going to go extremely up in price. I see it. Like, I, I, I envision it. I can see it. Because when I saw them, and I was like, man, I, I have to have these. Not only because maybe it'll go up, but also I just think that this is a dope uh, colorway on a classic Jordan 1 that's not a retro colorway, right? A lot of people get real bent out of shape about these retro colorways, but I think this is this was executed extremely well, in my opinion. Like, it has everything to me that's classic about what we love about the Jordan 1s, but also mixing in a couple of new things. Which you know the future is what is where we at, man. Like you gotta you gotta embrace you gotta embrace what's what's coming down the line. You gotta embrace what's new, right? You have the uh, the bio hacks that's coming out. They they're totally different, off the wall colors, right? But we'll get to those when they drop. This shoe it is gonna retail for the new price of 170. It drops on July 11th, and I just think that it was executed. 
I, I love it. Like, it's, it's really dope. So hopefully you're able to cop these. You know, let me know what you think of these. Let me know if you're feeling these. Let me know if you're not feeling them. If you're not feeling them, that's cool. Again, sneakers, like everything else, is subjective. You don't have to be a hype beast or any of those things to, you know, follow the trend. If you like something, go for it. Rock it. Be confident in what you're rocking, you know, and have your own unique style. But for me, these are a, these are a big W for me and I think for Jordan Brand, these are a big W. They they definitely didn't uh, slack on the materials. If I had to rate this shoe, I would definitely give it like an eight out of 10, to be super honest. And on a scale from one to five, I'd give it a 4.2, right? I think this is done extremely well. I have no issues with it. It's just an amazing shoe. Like I, I look at it, I think it's dope. That's the Jordan 1 Smoke Gray Retro. And again, these laces don't come with it. I had these laces, I want to see what they look like, you know, but again, you can rock them with the laces that come with them, put your own laces in that, give it your own flavor, get your own style. So I think those are dope. You let me know what you think out there. Make sure that you subscribe down below, like, get that thumbs up button, share, tell all your people about it. We gonna keep it coming, man. You guys are holding me down. We're doing this together and I wanna make sure that I'm getting, you know, good reviews out. I've been taking, I don't know what's going on with these apps, man. Like sometimes I hit, well, actually I hit a lot Lot, and then now I'm in a, a downward uh, moment where I'm not hitting on anything, but I was able to grab these retro ones, smoke grays early. So I was like, oh, let me grab them. Let me do a review. Let me put it out there. So we'll see, you know, they a couple things got pushed back again, you know, due to shipments being late and all of that stuff. But as everything comes in, we're going to be doing reviews. I'll come on here and actually maybe even talk about upcoming things put things out there and make sure you guys you know really have a good interactive experience but for now i hope you understood everything i was saying about this shoe i hope you love it uh if you had any doubts about it my personal opinion is grab the shoe if you can grab it period you won't you won't regret it basically uh it's a jordan one so it's probably gonna sell out well it will sell out but if you can grab it, go ahead and grab it. Keep it in your stash. I'm going to keep it in the lab because I, I just, I think it's going to come down the line. People are going to appreciate it a lot more. Yeah, so we're going to get out of here, man. Again, I'm Big Maul. This is Kicks Fam. And this is the Jordan Retro 1 Smoke Gray. Yeah, and we out. Yeah, we fresh with